Hey guys, Satyajit Patnaik here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall be focused on creating a beautiful GitHub repository. Now, what I have seen is that people tend to do a lot of projects. They do in-depth projects, but what they lack is the showcasing part, the beautification part. Now, if you are doing everything right, why don't you put some efforts in creating a very beautiful GitHub repository where if somebody visits your GitHub repository, he or she will be able to understand each and everything about your project. If you simply, if you randomly add your files to your GitHub and just, just write down in your readme that, oh, uh, churn prediction model, that's it. How the hell will people understand about this project? Your main idea is not just to put your codes and all those things on GitHub. Your main idea is also somebody might reference, take reference from your GitHub repository. So make sure your GitHub repository itself is attractive. People who are visiting your page should be able to understand about the project. And this is where many people lack. So in this video, we shall be talking about how to create a beautiful GitHub repository. And this video is all about uh, my suggestions, which is which I have learned so far and it doesn't mean that these are the best steps but these are just the best steps as per me. So let's get started. So in this video we shall be talking about one of my old projects which I did like 4-5 years back and it's related to customer churn prediction and I usually take this example because I'm very close to this use case and I feel I can understand, I can explain it in a very good way. And I am pretty much sure that you will be able to relate what I'm talking about and you can apply the same for your specific projects. So you can see this repository where I have already created a repository which is called as machine learning project churn prediction. Now. Of course, the first thing is to the first thing is to upload all your files. Now you can see I have uploaded everything here. Now what we did in this project was everything. We had the data, which we took it from Kaggle for sure, and then we did EDA, which is exploratory data analysis. Analysis. Then we also did the model building part. Right. And after model building part, we also converted our models to Flask application, Flask app. So I did all these things in this project. So this is kind of an end to end project that we did. And this is very much applicable to a data scientist. Right. So first thing is that try to upload all your files in a very structured manner. Here you can see when somebody visits this and this is one of my you know one of my best github repositories that i have ever created you can see 30 stars and 39 fox right so you can see the, the the structure is quite simple everybody can understand if somebody is visiting this page he or she will be able to understand oh this is the eda part this is the model building part right now we'll we'll move on to the readme part which is the most important part now you can see when we go ahead with the readme part you can already see that we have a detailed session on EDA. now i also have a youtube channel so everybody knows about this so that is the reason i have a hyperlink here which will redirect to the original you know session on ada but in your case you can leave it you, you don't have to apply for this one you can simply talk about eda what is eda okay and then this is again one of my previous sessions. So just try to ignore these two sections. Section one and section two can be ignored. Your GitHub should start from here. What is customer churning? Now here I'm explaining about customer churning. I'm explaining about the problem statement. I'm explaining about the business problem statement. What exactly is the problem? Why people are churning? What are the different scenarios of churning? Now, in any of the projects in data science or data analytics, business understanding is must, right? So always focus on business problems. So when you are creating your repository, 
don't blindly start talking about cnn or something like that start with the business understanding start why are we solving this problem let's say you are trying to solve a skin classification problem for patients why are you solving it why because there are so many algorithms so many case studies previously so many research papers why don't we simply use that why people will be interested in your code okay so talk about the business problem what is the problem you are trying to solve maybe there are tons and tons of projects out there but you are kind of improvising the model you are taking it to the next level try to explain that once you have done that then try to explain your eda part what have you performed in the eda then you talk about the models now you can see here i have talked about what is customer churning so i had created a separate presentation for customer churning so i have just given some of the screenshots of it okay customer churning operators are losing share in today's competitive market it talks about the problem statement once people goes through this one they will be able to understand oh this is what customer churning is what are the different scenarios of customer churn when couple of days back one of my student told that machine learning codes machine learning algorithms are so easy machine learning use cases are so easy when it comes to customer churning i know that many people write customer churn and all these things in their resumes which is good but i'm pretty much sure 99% of them might not be aware of the various scenarios of customer churn they just know that customer is active or left that's it they don't know if customer has left in which category the customer is falling which type of reason is the actual reason behind the customer getting churned or what type of churn is it is it is the customer leaving from vodafone to uh, vodafone to airtel or moving from postpaid to prepaid or moving from a high usage to a low usage so there are different types of churn then comes decision cycle of a subscriber now all these things be, are based on your business understanding now if your question is how do we create all these things well if you are able to work on the use cases you should also spend time in researching about the project researching about the business problem create a presentation presentation out of it try to read multiple research papers and then only you will be able to understand what exactly the problem statement is right and different churn segments so after this i have also explained the solution what is the proposed solution and then i have mentioned for eda refer to this file for model building refer to this file for model deployment refer to this file so you can imagine right if somebody is visiting my github repository he is getting all the information here customer retention then this different types of churning and then this then this and then everything is mentioned here to create a flask api i have also provided the code end to end code of how things work this is the load page this is the code what does this do and everything is there and then where i have also given a screenshot of how the front end looks like of course the front end is ugly so just ignore that for the time being but this is how it is and this is how you create your github repository to be very honest people put a lot of focus on the model building part and on the model enhancement parts and all those things well that's pretty much sure that you have to put more efforts on that part because it gives you more technical understanding but try to use at least 1% of your project should be dedicated in creating a good github profile creating a good github repository i will leave this link in the description below so that you can go through it i'll also have some other repositories of mine where you will see a detailed understanding of what's happening and these kind of things will help you to create beautiful readme files and this is not all of it there could be better ones as well you can explore some better github readme files as well this is just as per my limited knowledge and uh, that's all about this particular video in case you have any questions any suggestions anything write down in the comment section below 
and i'll try to reply you back or create a video on top of it please like share and subscribe the channel and thank you see you again